Hello everyone, this is Taika from BigHeadTaco.com and I'm here up in, I don't even know what this place is called, but I'm up on Capitol Hill in Burnaby. I just live down the block from here and I thought I'd do a very quick video. I am sorry I haven't been producing much this week. I actually have shot a few videos, but uh, they won't be ready for at least another few days. But I've been really busy and I was trying to figure out the best way of announcing my upcoming trip. So. Here we go, my upcoming trip. I am going to Hong Kong again, like last year. So I am leaving tomorrow. This video should be up today. So yeah, it'll be tomorrow. I'm going with Camera Girl and my producer is also flying out and I have a few special guests lined up. Some pretty cool, I'm not gonna give anything away. So as I'm gonna just surprise you. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll give little hints. I think even on Twitter I've been giving little hints about uh, my upcoming trip. So um, so that's it, Hong Kong. And the things I've been working on is I wanted to have some good review cameras to review there. Although gear isn't everything, it is fun to showcase uh, cameras and while you're traveling. And as well, uh, I wanted to really scope out good areas to shoot my videos and not just instructional type videos of how to's but uh, meet other photographers and other photo centric based uh, people in Hong Kong so uh, keep an eye on that but uh, one of the things I was stressed out about was my bag now uh, my favorite bag that I've been using my uh, baggy port the back was wearing out and so I've been looking for a new bag now this is an older bag that I have uh, it's by a company it's from Japan it's called as you can see that here Tobi Uo if that's pronounced the Japanese way so Tobi Uo um, Ebisu Tokyo Japan so it's a very beautiful bag I like it only problem with it is it's kind of a duffel bag I like the thinner bags that is up against your body but um, I think I'm gonna bring this bag to Hong Kong and my review cameras that I have prepared it all fits inside my Temba uh, this is like an insert that I had for one of my Temba bags so uh, I'm carrying three cameras from three brands so Fujifilm Leica and Ricoh Imaging and all my three review cameras fit in here so that was one of my considerations uh, I could have if I wanted to um, you know review some big gun lenses from Fujifilm and for Ricoh Imaging I could have asked for Pentax 645Z and with Leica I don't think I would have got it but you know asked for an S2 but you know that's just so much weight and size so weight and size was a huge consideration so here are the cameras I'm gonna bring with me to Hong Kong let's start off I've had it for a while already but I haven't really had a, a chance to do a major test on it is the Ricoh GR2 so in a, in a city like Hong Kong I'm gonna have fun street style shooting this is gonna be a great camera uh, I'm gonna take this with me to Hong Kong so thank you Rico Imaging Canada my very first micro four thirds camera review it's the Leica deluxe type 109 now everyone knows I seem like people are scared to even mention it but everyone knows this is the uh, sister camera or brother camera to the Panasonic LX100 and I don't think there's any difference to it internally uh, except uh, just the, the aesthetics are a little bit different the, the LX100 has kind of a bit of a grip here the Leica does not but I think in any of every other way you can correct me if I'm wrong but it, it should be exactly same same lens same sensor same operating system but uh, the price difference between the Leica and the Panasonic it, it's maybe a couple hundred dollars but you get Lightroom with this so and in terms of accessories I think Leica has cooler accessories cooler leather cases so for me I would pay the premium if I wanted between the LX100 and the deluxe um, I would pay the extra just for the the branding and the aesthetics and the opportunity to use kind of cooler accessories now some might say well this is not a real micro four thirds because the way that Leica slash Panasonic crops the sensor so they never fully utilize the full sensor because of this um, the aspect ratio they maintain the same angle of view and that is true but you know what let me break into it slowly right so this is it the Leica Deluxe Type 109 thank you Leica Canada and Leica North America 
and my final camera I'm bringing is a little bit hesitant to bring this camera but it is it is the Fujifilm X-T1 now why do I have this in front because I have to hide the lens it is a pre-production it's an embargoed lens so in a few days or not this lens will be released and uh, you'll know why later why I'm taking the X-T1 I still don't know I'm trying to pick between the X-T1 and the X-T10 but it makes more sense for me to bring the X-T1 but uh, I have a pre-production lens that I've been testing for about a, just over a week and I will reveal it in Hong Kong and so uh, hence I can't tell you but this was the one thing I was a little bit hesitant on the weight of the X-T1 it's not a heavy camera but but uh, I still wanted something smaller if I could have chosen I would have brought the X100T but I brought that with me last year to Hong Kong and so I am loath to leave the X100T at home for this trip but I must because I want to keep again everything small and compact so all my review cameras will fit in here and I am bringing the the Fujifilm uh, the EF X20 flash which I love so this will work on all the cameras that I'm bringing with all the cameras I'm bringing with me have a, have a hot shoe so I can use it for fill flash for street photography so uh, I am doing that so the, those are my review cameras and also I'm shooting this video on my uh, iPhone 6s with the Olo clip uh, active lens kit system on uh, wide angle view so I'm gonna be using this a lot to shoot a lot of my own I'm still even considering if I should do a vlog while in Hong Kong maybe not a daily vlog but a vlog and um, on my Instagram pictures most of the shots I'm gonna be posting will be on the iPhone 6s so this is my quick announcement and um, I look forward to seeing you guys I might do a little montage on the way to the airport and at the airport but depending on the time this is a uh, initially, not initially, primarily it is a vacation for Camera Girl and as well meeting and seeing her relatives there, her mama's there and so uh, we'll see how much time I can spare to take off and take pictures so uh, thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon happy shooting, click, click